Hey all, my name is Kurt and I'm here with Trenton. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And today, Trenton, I got a super treat for you. We're gonna be tasting Johnny Walker. And as you can see, there's plenty of them to get through. I got a, I got a treat for you too, actually. Uh oh I'm wearing a normal size shirt <laughs> today. I got a haircut. My shirt is freshly washed. There's no drool, wow. there's no bourbon, there's no slobber on it. Wow. How that happens. Well, you know, that was kind of funny. I, there was a lot of comments. We intentionally didn't say anything on the first video until the second video came out. So yeah. pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. Well, I hope all of you had a wonderful 4th of July celebration and holiday with yeah. your family and friends. Yeah. So Trenton, we don't have a whole lot of time. We got to get into this. Did you realize, sir, that Johnny Walker is the number one selling Scotch whiskey in the world? That, that honestly doesn't surprise me too much. Just like how I think Jim Beam is the best selling bourbon. It's stuff that's not really it's not allocated, it's not high price, it's anything, it's available, and that's what makes it yes. you know, so yes. so uh, sought after. And I, I was just gonna bring that up, and that's an excellent point by you. Two reasons, in my personal opinion, it's just what you said. It's highly available, and it's priced efficiently. Right, and so. I don't know anything about Johnny Walker. I know that, I know the most notable one I know of is, is the Blue Label, I've never had it. I don't think I've had any okay. of these Johnny Walkers. Well, they're all except ones that you've mixed with cocktails. I know sure. you use the, the yeah. black for one, but that's we, it. Yeah. yeah, they're all blends, Trenton. Okay. Everything's blend, most all of them. We'll get into it as we go along. Most all of them are, have grain whiskeys in them too because they are quite a bit cheaper mm -hmm. than most scotch whiskey. Okay. But let's just get into it. We'll talk about sure. each one as we go. And we got something else different for you too. I thought this is just, just something fun and a little bit different because we've got so many to get through, all right? We're gonna start with uh, the red label. I'm scared. What is it? Yeah, this is 23 bucks, right? The red That's label, it. 23, wow. $23. It's definitely a blend, a lot of green whiskeys. There's just a lot of different stuff in there. It's 80 proof, right? Now, what I did instead of us trying to, and because I know this is really isn't your genre, it's mm -hmm. not your thing. So what I did is I wrote down all of the tasting notes directly off of Johnny Walker's website. Okay. So I'm going to give you them, and I'm going to give you the glass and see if you can find what they're talking about. All right. How's that sound? Yeah. It's a little different, and I think it'll be a little yeah. bit of fun. This one here, they're saying it's black pepper and cinnamon. Really? Yeah. And I, keep in mind, a lot of folks, especially in bars, they use this primarily for for mixing. And even in the Johnny Walker website, it, it said it's primarily used for highballs and things of that nature. It smells like a little bit like beef jerky on the nose. Yeah. Like it's kind of smoky, and I, I can yeah. get it's like a pepperiness, but like a meaty pepperiness. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Like, Is this... Ooh, I had a good question. Do you, do you know how long this is aged for? No, this is all, okay. all of this is not aged stated except for two. Okay. We'll get to it. It's nice, it has a little bit of an element of like a, a sweetness that I've, I've found in some of the single malts or some of the scotches that you've mm -hmm. forced down my throat. I'd like for you to taste it. What do you think? I definitely get black pepper. No doubt about that. I'm it's with got, you. got a sting to it for 80 proof, and it's got some of that black pepper stuff. Cinnamon, okay, but I'd get some kind of a kind of a fruit note out of it too, and it's yeah. it's not a, a rich fruit note. It's kind of a tinny, yeah, kind of a fake, canned plums, fakeish kind. Yeah, yeah. something. Is that a thing where they make canned plums? I don't I'm know. sure they do. They make canned asparagus. Have you seen that? Disgusting. No. no. I want to try it just because it seems so nasty. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any of the cinnamon, but like I definitely yeah, get either. black pepper on the palate and the nose. Okay. You know, and you also got to realize, Trent, 23 bucks. Keep that in mind. Honestly, it's not not terrible. Yeah, I, I didn't think so either. It's a lot got of people, some nice sweetness to it. I, that's the first. I just opened this for the show. Okay, I don't, I don't have this here. I got it for the show. Um, I just opened it for the show and, you know, it's... Everybody just... Beats down on that thing. I don't think it's all that bad for twenty three dollars. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. The next cool. one, Trenton, is right. high rye. This one actually is sixty percent rye, and then there's malt and grain whiskeys also in the blend. This is also twenty three dollars and non age stated. Green apple, rich toffee, and smoke. That's what they're asking you. Johnny Walker website. One more time. Green apple, rich toffee, smoke. Rich toffee and smoke. Okay. Yeah. That's what they're looking for. I could see some toffee. Can you on the nose? A little bit. It's hmm. it's either like a toffee or like a little bit of a um, like a mocha situation, hmm. but really sweet, nice. Hmm. 
That'd be up your alley. There's a lot of rye in that. Definitely get that rye bite for sure. And there is a little bit of toffee in there. I mean, there's a nice vanilla going on. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting much. I'm not going to lie, but mm -hmm. for real, like. There's another one I didn't have. I just opened for the show. Very interesting. That's really not too bad for $23. It's really not. It's got a little bit of a grassiness to it. Maybe a little bit of like an orange peel, vanilla kind of thing mm -hmm. going on. It's subtle, pretty mm -hmm. subtle, but. Yeah, and the orange peel doesn't surprise me because of the high rye. Yeah. The 60% rye that's in the blend. I'm not disappointed so no. far. I thought I was no. gonna, I thought I was gonna be saying some, maybe not so nice things about <laughs> these bottles, but. Well, we're getting there. We're getting to the peated. Uh -oh. Next one's the peated Johnny. Oh. That's the nickname. This is Johnny Walker Black I'm not Trenton. Gonna, I'm not like this Believe it or not, there's three dozen, according to the website, there's three dozen distilleries in the blend in this right Holy here. cow. I know it, right? So this one, Trenton, is 35 bucks. It's also 80 proof. By the way, I forgot to tell you, this is 90 proof. That's nice. So the high rise is yeah. step up on the proof. I apologize, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, this one's 80 proof. Now this one here, they're also looking for some creamy toffee, sweet fruit, and smoke. Right? I don't know. I'm getting like a faint marker kind of thing. Well, that could be. Because, you know, I mean, with the iodine and the Band-Aid smell comes from Lafroig, I have no idea. Iodine? What, what, <laughs> that's what they say, yeah. Is that, mm -hmm. is that that like orange stuff they put on you yeah. before they like cut into you yeah. in a surgery or something? Buy some and smell it next time, see what you think. Can you buy that? Like, <laughs> can I just go buy that? Why off not? The, off the shelf? Go to, go well, to Walgreens. I don't know if it... Go to Walgreens, see what you can get. I didn't know that. I think it's a little fruity. I could get some fruit, but also yeah. it's like markerish. This is an extremely popular peated whiskey. Simply, you know, simply because of price, it's thirty-five dollars. So, you know, yeah. Is this twelve years old? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Twelve years old and from thirty-six distilleries. Yeah, really? that's what they say. So the uh, oh. so the youngest whiskey in the blend is twelve years old. So this is the only one. There's another one that's that's age stated, but this is this is the only other one that's age stated. And this is extremely popular. And I, I personally I have used this primarily just in cocktails. I I really I'm not a fan of this one per se. If I'll give it props where I think it deserves it, in that I'm not a I'm not a peated fan at all. Mm -hmm. This isn't like in your face peated. No. It's kind of subtly in the background. It would be maybe a yeah. good precursor to getting into more peated scotch, like an Ardbeg or Lafroig or any of those grill right. licking, tasting ones. <laughs> it, I don't, I wouldn't buy one. I probably wouldn't drink it, but it's it's honestly not bad for what it is. I really don't get any creamy toffee and fruits though. No. I, I, it's no. it's kind of mainly uh, subtle peat notes. Um, some a little stronger than others, but they're not really, they don't have a lot of character to them for me. When you're used to sipping a nice hard bag or something yeah. like that, it has some character to the peat. Yeah. This just doesn't. It's peat and here you go and here's a little sip of it. It's like a muted, honestly, I think it's like a muted, peated uh, beef jerky. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, let's move on to the next mm. one. This one's double black. Yeah. And what does that mean? <laughs> $45, 80 proof, right, Trenton? It's not age stated. Uh, this one is basically just further aged in deeply heavily charred oak casks. Okay. To intensify those peated notes, right? Okay. So again, they're looking at rich peat, dried fruits, uh, vanilla. We'll see what we can do. This find is here. probably a dumb question. Where does peat come from? Oh you said, boy! You said <laughs> you couldn't do this to me. I'm not a Scotch scholar, so that's a that's a question for another time. Okay. Yeah. I, I I'm just not even going. I know some. <laughs> I, did, I do I know did, some. Too. Yeah, I know. And I was gonna go out there, but I don't. I'm really not that well versed to give a an extremely educated response to everybody that's listening yeah. out there. I know some about it, but you know, I hate to I hate to venture out there when I don't know all of it. Maybe you maybe you're not familiar with this either, but does it peat like grow in a swamp? I think so. It's something like that, and then they take it out, they dry it out, you know, and then it's it's smoked while they're doing the whiskey. Okay, I believe. Interesting. And I should even went there. I, I'm sorry for those of you. No, that I went there. For I those of there. you who truly know, let us know in the comments. The, you know, an exact. If Trenton actually sees one come through, 
that's an inaccurate account, we'll, we'll try to pin that. We'll try to pin that comment, right? Oh, oh, so that goodness. everybody knows. It's double black and double bad. I will tell you that much. Mm. You, I, I. That's better than black. Really? I don't mind it. It's creamier. It is creamier, but man, it is that's, creamier. It's yeah. almost got like an acetone kind of flavor to it. Mm, yeah. Something that like is a bit off-putting. Yeah, that, that kind of comes down, once in a while with this. Like um, a watered-down rubbing alcohol. I'm really kind. not hitting that rich fruit note. I'm not hitting anything. I'm getting the vanilla. Some of the vanilla out of it. And it's creamier. I like it better than black. I'll say that for sure. Uh, for sure. This might surprise you. All right. I'm going to differ. Wow. You like this one better? I do. Oh, it's very interesting. Coming as somebody, maybe if I was into peated scotch and that kind of sure. thing, I might be able to find a little bit yeah. more in that. But yeah. like right now, the subtleness from the peat isn't isn't like off-putting to me. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is, and then it all it's like accompanied with this weird... It's just, just more intensified, yeah. so yeah. I can see why yeah. it's probably not up your alley. Yeah. All right, let's get it's to the next one. That one. Now, the claim to fame, Trenton, for this next bottle, this is the green label, okay? This is the 15-year age stated, and in, in it's it's, really? it's pretty much known to be the best of the grouping outside the I blue. I was going to say. <laughs> outside the blue. So we'll see if it is or not. Yeah. To your palate, it's 65 bucks. It is up a little oh. bit in proof. It's 86 proof, and this is actually a, a malted blend. Okay. So every whiskey that's in the blend of the green label is a single malt whiskey. Okay. So there is no grain whiskeys, per se, and things of that nature in this particular bottle. Well, I gave it a little, as you would say, a little snort. No, <laughs> no, snort is a taste. I gave it a little sniff, and it, right. it does have some, like, m malty or some kind of different nose to it that yeah. that none of these have had so that makes a little bit of sense now according to the website they're just looking for they just stated wood notes some very rich beautiful wood notes oak and cedar so they I never, can see cedar they, man. they really never gave any any other tasting notes on the website i yeah cedar huh? i can see like sure. a sweet cedar mm -hmm. i'm i'm i'll go to like menards lowe's whatever and uh i'm a big woodworker like i'm I do. I build furniture and like all this stuff. I'm a, I'm almost a professional. So <laughs> almost knowing, a professional. Knowing knowing all the different types of woods, this is yes. really reminiscent of a cedar. Yeah, I like it. you taste it. Uh, now, honestly, I, I I do enjoy it. I think it's a pretty nice. It's a pretty decent sip. You know, for for sixty five bucks, it's not a bad bottle. But there is quite a there, there is a lot of wood accents in that sip. It's like there a, just is. It's like a wood sandwich, like a cedar wood sandwich with like yes, uh, a cedar and honey sandwich. Like you got the two the two little loaves of the, the wood, and then you got a little bit of like a honey in there. That's as being ridiculous as he is over there. That's not too far off the beaten path because there is there is a tad bit of honey there. <laughs> Knucklehead. There is a tad bit of honey, but there's yeah, he's right. There's 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 some neat there's some neat tasting wood notes in there. For absolute sure, and I, I think it's a pretty good buy for sixty-five bucks. I, I I think it's pretty decent, to tell you the truth. It's definitely different. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of all the like the wood notes in it because okay. it's like wood and then sweet, yeah. and there's really no right. other depth or flavors apart from that. Kind of a one noter for me. Yeah. Fifteen year age statement for sixty-five bucks, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah. I'm glad I got to try it though. Okay. Cool. Moving on to the next one. This one's a little tricky. This is the Gold Label Reserve. Okay. Some time ago, and I'm, again, I don't follow it closely enough, but not that far, but some time ago, uh, they had an 18-year age stated gold label. Oh, really? Johnny Walker, that went away. I don't know. I have no idea if the distillery ran out of 18-year-old distillate for blends and things mm -hmm. like that. I don't know. But they took it away and they replaced it with this gold label reserve, non-age stated. But in the meantime, though, here recently, there's an 18-year that's, that's, that's back now. Okay. But I don't have the 18 years, so we don't have that for the tasting, and I honestly haven't seen it in our area okay. yet. So I don't know when it came out. I don't know if it was somewhat recent, if not, but I, I haven't seen it. I couldn't get it for the show. But we are going to taste this one here, Trent. This is 70 bucks. 80 proof. We're going back down to 80 proof again, okay. right? So honey, vibrant fruits. That's what they're looking at. Do they make any casks? Vanilla. Strength? Johnny Walker? Is that a thing? I have never seen it, if they okay. do. I've never seen it. I'm asking you all the hard hitters today. You know, I think they just stick with what they are and what yeah. they do best. 
And it's not it's not the worst. You know, I mean, you know, if you're going to be the number one Scotch whiskey sales in the world, just stick with what you do, what you do best. Lower lower price whiskey offerings. Yeah, it's hard to pick up on the nose. I, I honestly think it's just kind of like a subtle woodiness on the nose. Nothing like mm -hmm. in your face or to me obviously apparent. Nothing is really uh, obviously apparent with me, but I kind of like that. Do you? Yes, I do. I can I can honestly get some fruit notes. I get a little honey there. Didn't quite get the vanilla on the first sip, but I definitely get some really nice honey notes. Of course, there's a little maltiness there as well. I'm really not getting much at all on the palate. Mm. I'll be honest with you. I'm not like it's it's a sweet sip, mm -hmm. but it's not like tied to a specific like a honey or a syrup okay. or a, a whatever else you might equate with like a, yeah. a, a sweet thing. It's okay. It's it's not definitely not my favorite out of these so far, yeah. but um, I think it's pretty decent. Yeah. I, I thought it was a pretty uh, pretty good quality sip. To me, it's just kind of bland. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> a little bit boring for you. Yeah. All right. All right. Honestly, I think this might be the the most bland out of all of the mm. ones that we've had so far. Well, I'm a little surprised by that, but okay. <laughs> hey. Everybody has their own personal palettes and their own personal opinions. Man, second sip, it's like I went to a TJ Maxx and took out a cigarette from that the thing, the garbage can cigarette things they have outside and just ate it. No. I'm not, I don't like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that. I don't, I'm not. All right. Well, let's. <laughs> I don't like that. Let's move on to. Have you ever had Johnny Walker Blue, the King of the Hill? No, I've heard a lot about it, okay. but I've never had it. It's a little. It's a little bit. I'm not a. I'm not a Scotch fan. It's what, like two hundred some bucks. Or, yeah, it's going to be two hundred thirty to two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah and you know, and they say Johnny Walker. They say that you know one in ten thousand casks are chosen for the Johnny Walker blue. Oh wow. And you th might think that ten thousand casks is a lot, Trenton, but supposedly they have up to ten million casks aging at Johnny Walker. Jeez. So there you go. That, right. That's that's. That's just what's on paper. So is that legitimate? I don't know. But this one here has, no, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what the blend is, but there's a little bit more, it's kind of like lightly peated, I would say. I could. It's a little bit more peat presence than some of these others that we've had, other than, of course, these two here. I can kind of pick that up a little bit. Yeah. What do you think? Caramel, hazel, ha caramel hazelnuts and dark chocolate is what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, I get all those on the nose. Do you? I get every <laughs> single one of them. It's very pleasant on the nose. I do get a nuttiness there. Am I sick? A little bit of I'm, fruit. I'm not getting anything, and I'm not yeah. I'm not digging well, it either. I, you know, you're so used to, to dealing with bourbon and rice. I just don't think your, your nosing and palate is... <laughs> <laughs> is quite trained to my level at this point. Oh yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. Kind of like how you are with cast strength. You can't really, you can't appreciate as much as as me. And there you have it. But here's the thing. Like I, I don't think you're wrong. Like I'm not. Yeah. I'm used to flavors and nosing notes being like really kind of upfront with higher proof stuff because sure. it carries through. Yeah. With this though, like I gotta search so much that it. Um, it's this is making me tired. No, this trying is to find very notes pleasant. This. It's a very elegant nose. I definitely get some, a little bit of fruitiness there, some honey, you know, it's very elegant. I get, I get sweetness. I get like, it's almost like a honey, uh, like a honey kind of profile. Cause it's like a tad bit funky, but I also don't know if that's coming from the malt. I can pick up a berry, but I don't know what, because that malt is kind of overpowering the, the berry note for me. I'm waiting. Are you speechless? <laughs> I'm waiting, waiting for you, Bubba. It's, it, is this like actually slightly peated? It is. I'm, there, remember, there's all kinds of different distillate in the blend. Mm -hmm. So within the blend, there's there's peated whiskeys in the blend, for sure. I think Coilila, Talisker, I'm going by memory, are some of the peated whiskeys that are highly used in Johnny Walker. Are we going to get like a... Are we going to get no, a cease and desist please. for this? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. No, it's, 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 it's know, just... you know, in written form, but I'm just trying to remember the stuff that I know about it. But I really like it, Trent. I, I like the Johnny Walker Blue. Now, I've had that bottle probably two years, so I don't drink it often. Mm -hmm. 
but I think it is very elegant. Uh, did you notice even just the creaminess of the whiskey, though? I, I felt I feel it's very viscous, very creamy. The mouthfeel is nice, honestly. Mm. Like the the nose to to me slightly transfers to the palate. It's not. I gotta search though. It's elegant, but I do get the hazelnut. Then I do get some chocolate notes there. But like you say, it's tempered. It's not deep and rich. Tempered, wow. Yeah. You know, it's elegant. It's a it's an elegant sip. It's not my least favorite. I'd say, like, honestly, it's probably middle of the road. Mm -hmm. There are others that I would gladly purchase more than this because this is, like you said, 200 some bucks. Yeah, There's some I, here mm -hmm. that are 30s, 40s that I think, in my humble well, opinion, are better than this. And as you know, I enjoy scotch every once in a while. Yeah. Not all the time, but every once in a while. And, and unfortunately, the price tag comes in there. There's a whole bunch of scotch I can show you on my sh on my shelves that are 150 to 250 dollars that are a lot better than that. I will say that, but I do enjoy it. I, I do think it's a pretty elegant sip, and it's and then I like it every once in a while. That's fair. Yeah. All right. To wrap this up, what's your lineup, brother? I can't wait for this one. I'm going the high rye yeah, yeah. first. Okay. I don't know if that's a shocker or not. I think second would probably be this green label. Okay, wow, I think, okay. I think it was mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. I'd go red. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd go the blue. Wow. And then uh, the gold, is this gold? Gold label reserve. Gold label. Mm -hmm. And then I'd go black, mm -hmm. double black. Okay. That'd be mine. This is tough for me, honestly. This is very tough for me. I have to go with the blue as number one. Oh, you just, you know. You're no, just I have to. It's just, just, I like it. It's an <laughs> elegant sip, but this may surprise some. I have not had the high rye, but I kind of like that second. I, I thought it was I really thought it solid. was. I thought it was pretty good. And when you consider $23, I mean, like, wow, that's that's pretty nice. From there, I'd probably go with this 15 year age state of green. Mm -hmm. I'd go with the gold. I'd go with the double black. And I'd go with the red label, then the black. Okay. So I'm bouncing around quite a bit there, but that's probably what I would come up with. I honestly, like I'm going on a limb here, I think this is just really good because it's got that, it's a little bit of an elevated proof point, but it's got that high rye that I feel like kind of carries the the, pr the flavors a little bit more yeah, through. And I can honestly see how that suits your palate, your I, personal I love palate. I honestly sure. might go buy one. I was surprised. Let's say that. I was very surprised by that sip, yeah, especially for $23. Good. All right. That's all I got for you today. My good friend, Mohandas. May I mention your name? This 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 kind gentleman has asked us to do this show for probably more than a year. Really? Probably more than a year. Wow. And I, and I know awesome. we've tried. I've tried, and we try to get in there, and you know how one thing leads to the next. But... Uh, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to do this. Yeah. It is the number one scotch, you know, selling scotch whiskey in the world. So it deserves to be done by us at some point in yeah. time. And my good friend Mohandas, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I, I, I had you in my mind as we were tasting these whiskeys. Yeah. So let us know your lineup if you're a fan yeah. of Johnny Walker. If you're not a fan, mm -hmm. if you are, what like what you go to if you have yeah. any bottles at home, we'd love to. I'd be very interested to read that. Yeah, absolutely. So. Hey, that's all we got for you today. God bless each and every one of you. As always, we ask you to drink responsibly. See you next time right down here with Trent and I when he's not waping his face in the good old basement bourbon bar. See you later. I think I had a bug fly in my nose. <laughs> Something. Itching.